What's up, everyone? It's Mike Roberts, founder and CEO of SpyFu and RivalFlow. Um, so I just got off the phone with a customer giving him a demo of RivalFlow. And uh, at the end, he's like, man, this is amazing. I, I would have never gotten this without, gotten all this without the demo. And I was like, oh my God, of course. Like I um, obviously, so we're doing this RivalFlow 2.0 launch. We've made like 600 improvements or, or more to uh, 620 some odd improvements. Uh, to RivalFlow since we launched about 11 months ago. And I've been breaking everything down and making this presentation and doing like slideshows and like, um, you know, like short videos talking about individual features. But one thing that I realized is that I haven't given you guys a full on demo of RivalFlow for a really, since launch at least, if at all. Now you have possibly gotten a demo from me if you've like, uh, if you've gotten, a, if you've kind of done like an agency thing or whatever, but, but broadly, no. And when we do, um, when we do demos, we usually do them kind of like on brands that we might think of, like uh, like brands that you might know. Like for example, we've done some on SpyFu and, and what have you. Um, and on the homepage, we have we showcase like Starbucks versus Dunkin' Donuts. These are brands that you should be familiar with. You don't have to think too hard about. But we run in when we do these like live demos with real customers, we run into slightly different issues that are totally overcomable or or are actually advantages. But like. These simpler, uh, you know, um, demos, examples don't let me showcase those. So what I want to do, what I'm going to do is actually go through and kind of like, I'm going to show you like not actual customers because I, would, I can't really do that. But what I can do is show you like websites that are very similar to what I uh, like, like actual customers. And I might make a whole series of these, but right now I'm going to start with one uh, that I just sort of, I actually haven't even previewed this. Okay. So this is like a live, live demo. Um, shoot. I actually forgot the... It's a, uh, give me one second. I got to remember what it was. Yeah. So it was, I got the example uh, directly off of SpyFu and, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's funny because I, uh, you know, there's a little bit of work going on outside my office window. And so I, um, so I, I started and then stopped and forgot this, the, how to spell this name. And so here we go. So this is going to run through and, um, and I'm just going to walk you through what's going on here real quick. Um, basically we're looking in and seeing, you know, where this, where this, where this website shows up most. And if it was an international company, uh, then it might show up in any of these various, you know, locales that we have. And we just added Japan recently, um, constantly adding uh, new countries. Um, and, uh, but obviously with RivalFlow, we really have to test and make sure that everything works anyway. So let's keep going. Um, you know, you leverage these, uh, these competitors. Um, you'll have a more likely, you'll more likely receive recommendations from those competitors. You can watch this video or not, whatever, let's go. So, What's happening now is that we're running through and we are going and pulling the most, um, your most trafficked content. And then we're looking to see who's competing with you on the SERPs and then identifying the areas where your competitor is outranking you um, or, um, you know, the biggest opportunities for you to improve. Right. So what we want to do with RivalFlow, right, is to um, it like the, the core idea of RivalFlow is that is that, well, first of all, your competitors outranking you. And we want to show you why that's happening, right? Why is my competitor outranking me on Google? And what we're going to do is, is try to ride the wave that Google is giving you to outrank them, right? So we want to, like, we don't want to swim against the current. We want to take what's working for them, what's working for you, and improve upon it. And so let's have a look at what, what we are. Now, I have no idea what this law firm is. Uh, it's like they're, we're just doing this from scratch, right? So this is obviously a uh, law firm focusing on, on negligence, right? So here's a pretty good... This is a uh, St. Louis malpractice attorneys, right? And so we are, uh, we've got a pretty good idea of, of what this is. So now what we should do is hit generate project. If we don't like this example, this happens to be a fantastic example. And like I said, I literally picked it, picked it directly out of SpyFu. I have no idea. If we don't like this example, we can change the competitor, right? So we could say, I want to choose something else. You know, you could choose one of these other uh, other ones, but we're choosing that one because we, we, we've examined the content and we determined that it's the better one, right? Um, in fact, actually, let's look at that. Why did we determine that it's the better one? Uh, St. Louis, this is one, this one's in North Carolina. So this is the same keyword. This is the top keyword that you rank on, but um, you're competing with North Carolina, Woodlands, Texas. So we're not choosing those ones. We're not choosing Michigan or New York or whatever. We're choosing the correct one. You're in St. Louis, they're in St. Louis. That's your local competitor. We're that's why we're doing that. Now, if you wanted to focus on a different keyword, you can absolutely choose a different keyword. This one just happens to be the best one, the highest traffic one, the most targeted one for you. So we hit uh, generate project and that's going to run through. I'm going to look at this next one while that's happening. And here we go. We're looking at St. Louis County, St. Louis car accident lawyer. Perfect fit again. 
Jeez. I swear, guys, I didn't preview this, but this is like not running. We're not running into the any kind of issue, right? These are actually fantastic. Um, but again, we can change that competitor content. The ones that are starred here are actually also competitors, but we chose we chose them based on based on like the the strength of the content, right? So you can trust that we're doing some some sort of keyword math and some you know sort of content math. Spyfu is, has an enormous um, database. We we scrape Google about 100 1.5 billion times per month uh, across all the countries that I showed you. So we're we're doing a decent amount of math, and also we're analyzing the content with AI to ensure that we're getting a good match. So you know, I generally say. Trust what we say, but you're the expert and we're just a product. Um, go ahead and uh, so this can take, um, you know, like it generally takes a couple minutes, um, potentially up to, you know, four minutes for these things to generate. But the next thing that I want to show you is this area called pick a page. So if you are an expert, which, you know, everybody's an expert, you can go in and actually choose the page that you want to start with, right? So you don't have to like use our recommendations. These are here to give you, to make it so that you don't have to think. I mean, we're, we're just saying, hey, these are good ones. Try these out. But if you actually already know what you want to start with, go in here, because I probably would, right? Like, frankly, I'm like, I want to improve this particular page. I'd probably go in here, especially, you know, in the beginning, when you first start using Rivalflow, you probably know what you want to use. So I would maybe jump into here, and you can choose one of these. Let's say that you like how are Missouri personal injury settlements paid out? That's an interesting thought leadership one. Why, let's like roll with that, see what happens. Hit select. This is going to do that same process, but on an individual page, it's going to identify the best piece of content, you know, for you to compare against. Um, how are Missouri personal injury? Yeah, personal injury. That sounds pretty solid. And of course, in here, you can also, you don't get debug info, only me. Um, <laughs> you can also change this and uh, select whatever you want or change the primary keyword. Same thing, same rules apply here. One thing that you uh, can do in this area is if you want to focus on a specific keyword, you can. So let's say that we want to um, focus on, um, I wonder if they do anything, I don't know whether or not they do anything about um, mobile. I was just thinking about whether or not they, obviously what they have in here is like, um, drowsy driving. I was just thinking like maybe mobile distracted or whatever, texting and driving or something like that. So here we have drowsy driving accident attorneys in uh, St. Louis. And um, so we can select this one. And uh, you can, so you can start with a keyword or you can start with a URL. It's uh, completely up to you, right? Um, perfect. Look, St. Louis car accident attorney, drowsy, drowsy driving accident attorneys in St. Louis. Fantastic choice. Look, they're ranked number two. You're ranked 96. I love it, frankly. I'm going to accept the recommendation and let it run. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna hop back over into the recommended pages over here and see if these guys are complete. And, oh, and, oh, so this one's finished. All right, so this was our first one. Um, this was actually the second one that we did. And so this one's done, let's have a look. Right, so let me walk you through what's going on with Rival Flow these days. One thing that is, uh, the, obviously, what we're doing is we're saying, here's the, que the questions that your competitor is answering and you're not. Secondly, let me move my face up. <laughs> Secondly, we're saying, um, here's, the, uh, here's the questions that they're answering uh, more thoroughly or that you're answering only partially. So let's go in and look at the questions you don't answer first. And so the question is, why uh, should someone hire a lawyer if they've been a victim of medical malpractice in Missouri? Now, here's one thing that rival flow. So the reason that we position everything as a question is kind of, it's, it's a writer's trick, right? It's much easier for uh, somebody to answer a question than it is to be like, um, than it is to just expand on like an idea, a topic, right? If I just ask you a question, like in a podcast or whatever, you're gonna be able to answer it. If I'm like, tell me everything about your life or tell me stuff about how good you are at lawyering or whatever, they're not gonna necessarily answer that. But if you ask them this direct question, they will be able to answer it, right? So, um, so that's why this is positioned that way. Oftentimes people think, oh, do I need to add this to my FAQs? Absolutely not. That's actually not how these are answered, right? So when you see the, the content that we generate, it doesn't say the question. It says, it, it just answers the question, when to hire a lawyer for medical malpractice. So one thing that you see in here is these are highlighted. So what we do is we highlight the like, we highlight like brands and, uh, and locations and phone numbers. And the reason is because well, this happens to be a location that both of these companies uh, share, but what if it wasn't? 
what if what one was saying was uh, it's St. Louis and the other one was saying Kansas City, but that was like, you know, RivalFlow uses ChatGPT, uses AI to actually, um, you know, generate this content. And the way we keep it from, um, from, from hallucinating, making things up, is that we, we use the competitor's page as the source of truth, right? So we say, so it doesn't make up facts, but sometimes the facts uh, can hew too closely to the competitor's content to fit well within your content. Now we make, all these, all these things are designed to flow perfectly into your content, but like if you happen to be in a different city, it'll say that, you know, it'll, it'll use the competitor's city and uh, it maybe may use um, their lawyer's name or something like that. So we highlight those things so that those don't wind up in your content. Okay, so the next thing is, so when we launched RivalFlow, big difference between when we launched 11 months ago and now is that we sort of said, hey, we're gonna do this analysis. We're gonna read their page and we're gonna read your page and we're gonna show you, you know, here's the questions that they answer that you don't and here's the ones that they answer more thoroughly. And, and like, here's a hypothetical way that you might answer it if you, you know, you, you could use the AI. Now we're saying, look, the AI is like this content is solid. We, you know, we realistically couldn't do this with chat GPT, with GPT 3.5, but now with the latest models, we're absolutely able to say this is this is this is this is going to fit into your content. It's the same level, right? It's good. It's solid. So then, what we do is we show you right where to put it, right? So let me move my face again. <laughs> my face is just ruining everything. So look, right? This is what their page. This is like a, an outline of their page. If you want to see what it looks like on the page itself. I can click on that and we highlight where it goes and it would go right below this, right? So this, by the way, I just, this wasn't open before. This opened this thing and highlighted it for you. That's what the technology does. It shows you right where on the page to put it. Now, in the case of a new, you know, a question that you didn't answer, you're going to put this right after this highlighted place because we obviously can't like highlight something that doesn't exist. I'll show you in the partial answers where we show you right where it goes, right where it goes there. Okay, so that's how this works. You can go through these. You don't have to add every single one of these to your page. Um, but as you do, you can just say, okay, I'm going to do this one. Um, you can choose to like not do one. Um, you can unhighlight these and they'll unhighlight on every one that you see. So now they're not highlighting anymore. Um, in case you, you know, once you're like, okay, I trust that everything's fine. Um, so let me now show you how the partially answered questions work. Right. So this is a little bit different. I'm going to re-highlight this stuff. So you see how we're actually talking about their actual firm. That's because they're talking about their own firm, but it's important that we highlight these things, right? It's important that we do the work um, so that you don't, so that you trust that we're actually consistently highlighting these entities and uh, and not like leaving you open. You know, you're gonna wind up sending this over to your uh, to your client, and um, and I don't want you to ever be in a position where you're like, why are you why are you saying we're in the wrong place or why are you you know talking about their brand and not ours, right? Um, and you can even highlight it for them and let them let them make that decision themselves. So. Let's go into one of these in particular. We don't want to rewrite content for you that you partially answer in its entirety. We want to improve upon it. We want to leverage what you're already doing and make it and make it more thorough. That's the goal. So what we do here is we show you, um, you know, we highlight the area that you already have, and then we show you the part that's not highlighted here. See how I'm, I'm going to remove this highlight because I'm kind of talking about two different kinds of highlighting. But I mouse over this and it highlights this part up here so that we're showing you we're not deleting what you're doing. We're just adding to it. And this is the part that we're adding to it. And the part that we're adding to it is the additional thoroughness of your competitor. You see, theirs is quite a bit longer and quite a bit more thorough. And this is one of those links where you can see, you know, right where it is on their page. And you can see right where it is on your page. I'm not going to click on that. But, uh, well, yeah, why not? You can always click on this. It's not a key part, but it, it does it. So this is where they're answering it on their page and then where you're answering it on yours, right? And so what we're saying is, um, what we want you to do is, is copy this part and replace it with this, you know? And here's where it is on the page. So you're just going to replace this part with the longer, uh, more thorough version of it. If you're an agency, one thing that's like, one of my favorite additions, because it actually came from, came directly from a client early at launch, right, was this ability to, you know, you're going to wind up sending our recommendations, you know, you don't necessarily want to send, you don't have to send all of them. Maybe you don't want to do this one, right? But the ones that we have unchecked, you could send over to your client. All you have to do is go copy all questions and answers. And I'm going to go up here. You can't see in the address bar, but I'm going to go doc.new for Google Docs. I don't know if you guys know that trick. 
but that's the URL for our brand new doc in Google Docs, doc.new, and then I just control V, right? And it copies over the entire formatted version of this, right? So here's your page, unanswered questions, and then these are the ones, this is what you're recommending that they add, and you can make those modifications. We even include these highlights in here, it makes it look like you did a lot of research, right? Like, so we can, I mean, you can unhighlight them, um, or you can send them over as, as highlights, right? It's totally up to you. But this allows your customer, your client to just sort of comment these things, make sure that they approve them, approve them before you publish them. And that's kind of like the workflow that everybody, uh, agencies in particular want to use, but um, uh, you may want to use this in-house as well. Okay, so once you're complete, once you have a page complete, and we have this pick a page one, I think I'll not go into this. I just wanted to show you that it, it, it does work the same way. Um, you can hit uh, complete. Okay, so when you hit complete, what that does is it adds it to your track results. And you can go into track results here, and unfortunately, of course, I don't actually have GoGo Law, Law Firm's uh, Google Search Console, but you could select the Google Search Console, and then what it does is it shows you a, um, it says, okay, you published this, you completed it on this date. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at everything before this date and everything after this date, and I'm gonna compare it. And that way, you know, you, if you complete something, it's not, you're not looking at a single point in time, you're looking at the point in time relative to when you publish RivalFlow content. And what I'll tell you is that um, looking at thousands of customers and, and tens of thousands of pages, what I can see is that, is that the average customer the average customer sees the jump that we're talking about here, like this, in eight days, okay? So that's the average time that it takes to, for that to happen. Now, depending on how frequently, how recently you've done a page update, like we, when, we run, when we did this on our site, on Spyfu, obviously this is a relatively competitive page, right? It's all about backlinks and types of backlinks, and obviously our competitors would be like, you know, backlink tools and, you know, like Ahrefs and stuff, stuff like that. So uh, SEO companies. So for us to go from like this level to this level is, and by this level, I mean, ju, ju, ju. by the way, that's where this, that's where the rival flow chart came from. That's where our logo came from, because this is literally the first test that we ran. We did build rival flow for us, you know, like that's why I built SpyFu too. Just like, you know, you kind of like use your own sort of problem as inspiration. And then you try to like make it work for everybody in the entire world, right? Like if it works for you, you know, then it's going to work for everyone. At least if it works for you, you wind up with a, with a tool. If it works for everyone, then you wind up with a product. Does that make sense? So, so here's how it actually looks now. So this is like what this is what it looks like in Google Search Console, and in and in um, Rival Flow, it looks like this. And I will, I'm just doing this this whole thing live, and so unfortunately, obviously, I couldn't connect to um, to their account. But this is what it looks like. This is a real customer account. We swapped in Dunkin' Donuts here because we can't just like use some customers' data. But this is actual real. This, this is real customer data. This is not the real URL, okay? So what happens is that we show this line. This literally shows up in, in the tracking product. And when you, when you do tracking, it says rival flow improvements published, draws this line. And then all of these things, this before and at, this, this is before versus after. So this is the before, this is the after, and these are the numbers rolled up. So this is perfect for sending over to your clients or your stakeholders to really show like the value of what you're, what you're doing. And I mean, it really aligns to our interests, right? So like, you know, we want to show you this and you want to, you want to see it. And so it's, so it's great. So in this case, this jump actually happened on day one, right? But there's, their rival flow continues to work over time. So what you don't see, what the chart doesn't show is additional dates that were, where, where there was additional publishing. I, I believe it, it was right here. So that's like the second round um, effect, right? So you get these really great outcomes. That's 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 what I got for you. Have a have a great one. Hopefully this this helps to clarify some things for you. And if you have any questions, shoot them to me. And I'm like, I'll love to make these videos.